Good evening and welcome to another HackerRank warm-up video. This is the time conversion problem. So we're given a time in 12 hour AM PM format and we have to convert it to military 24 hour time. Midnight is 12.00 AM on a 12 hour clock and zero 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 on a twenty four hour clock. Noon is twelve PM on a twenty four hour clock and noon is twelve hundred on a twenty four hour clock. Alright, so function description complete the time conversion function in the editor below. It should return a new string representing the input time in twenty four hour format. So time conversion has the following parameters, a string representing time in 12 hour format. Um, a string, a single string as containing the 12 hour clock format, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, just looking at this right now, this is going to be nasty. Uh, it requires a lot of string extractions uh, because we have to pretty much take in, take out the hour, the seconds, and then the minutes, and then we have to take the PM or AM to use that for the conversion. All right, okay, well, let's get started. Um, so how should we do this? All right. So we have to split this array. So we definitely the string array here. And I don't need to call this one, uh, let's call this one, let's call it parts. It's gonna equal s dot split. And we wanna split by the colon. All right. So this is gonna break this into one, two, three parts. And here we still have to break the 45 and the PM so we can either add or subtract 12 from the hour. Uh, okay, so we have the parts. So we know that here we can we can get the hour. So we can say in hour is gonna equal, right, uh, integer dot parse and and it's going to be parts zero and then we also have the uh, minutes so the minutes is going to equal integer dot parse and and we do uh, parts one all right so we still have another parts left here, right? For this part of the string. So we wanna go ahead and get the digits here. Okay, so we need a clever way to do that. Um, so how about we try to split this string uh, in the halves? Uh, that might work. So, Let's go ahead and do a, um, let's do a string uh, last for the last part of the, and that's gonna equal, uh, let's do paths, right? And then do paths.length, uh, yes, minus one. So this should give us the last um, string in this array. And then we want to go ahead and we want to get the seconds from that. So uh, let's do an int um, seconds. It's going to equal, and then we want to do an integer, right? Um, dot parse int. And mm, let's, um, let's get the, the substring for that. So let's do. Uh, last dot sub string 
and let's do uh, let's do zero and let's do last dot length right uh, divided by two so this should give us the first half of the uh, of the string okay um, then we want to store the am pm so all we did was we extracted this uh, 45 here so now we have to extract the am pm here so we can do a string uh, let's do am pm it's going to equal and they want to do a uh, last right dot sub dot sub string and we want to do a uh, last dot length divided by that's right divided by two right because we want to get the middle to the end and they want to do a uh, last dot length and that should be the end okay I think that that's that's good for now um, okay so how do you want to do this um, so we can create a string let's we'll just call it uh, military for military time and this is going to be uh, empty for now All right, so we can do if we say uh, we can check if we say if uh, am right if am pm dot um, compare if we compare to um, uh, let's say if we compare it to pm right let's do pm for that if that is a uh, equal equal to zero okay. So if it's PM, then we want to go ahead and take the current hours and then we want to go ahead and add 12 to it, right? So if it's noon, it's 12. And then the uh, the hours after that is going to be PM. All right, hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. All right. But if it's just noon, then we don't really have to do anything because 12 is still considered PM, right? So if it's uh, hours equal to 12, then we don't want to really change anything. We just want to return the current uh, time. So uh, we can say something like, uh, so military, right, is going to equal. And I think, uh, yeah, so this has to be formatted. This has to be formatted like this. So uh, we can use we can use a string dot uh, format here, and we want to format. So we need a leading zero just in case um, there is let's say only a number right in front. So we do percent zero two. That's going to be the maximum um, width. For the digit and then a colon and then percent zero two um, D right and then we need another uh, percent zero two D all right and so if this is a PM then want to do um, our right plus 12 and then we just want to pass in the minute and we want to pass in the seconds. All right. However, uh, if it's, if, um, if our is equal, equal to 12, well, that still counts as PM. So what we want to do is pretty much set the military time separately. So we're going to do if, this is the case then the military time should only equal should only be set to the current hours and the uh, current minute and the current seconds and it should be 12 and not 2 all right so now all you have to do is reverse this logic right for the am because if it's am then it's just going to be 12 minus the hours 
Um, so we're going to say, uh, let me just copy this here. Do control V. So if it's uh, AM, then um, you can copy the military time here and paste this here. And here we want to take 12, right? Um, minus the hour. Because if we add the hour, well, it's going to go over 12 and um, that's not going to work. All right. So, and however, if it's less than, if it's not noon, right, that means that it's AM. So uh, we have to check for that case. So we can say something like, um, uh, if uh, hour, right, is less than 12, then it is AM. So we want to go ahead and Um, hopefully this is right. Am I doing this right? Okay. So if it's less than that, um, let's control V here and we just want to pass in the hour, the minutes and the seconds. All right. And I think we should be able to just go ahead and return military. All right, so let's uh, let's let me check this again. <laughs> okay, so if we split this, we're gonna get the nineteen and the five, and uh, we're gonna get seven and five and oh five here. So we get the first two parts. Um, then the last part's gonna have the seconds and the a.m. p.m. So we can split that in the half, get the first half and get the second half. And then if, all right, so let's just go ahead and run this problem and see what we get. If there are any errors, I uh, should be able to fix that. Okay. So it says last dot length. Where's that here? And let's run that again. Okay, so it actually works fine for the base case. So let's go ahead and submit this. All right, and that works for our cases.